At the Boomer Jail property in the northwest of Tasmania, Tasmanian devils frolic on the front lawn. They are healthy and in abundance. However, in the eastern part of the state, the Tassie devil is in crisis, with a devil facial tumour disease wiping out over 80% of the devil population in some areas. The disease is an aggressive and contagious cancer, and it is predicted that the disease will reach the northwest of the state and the Boomer Jail devils within only three years, and once the disease infects the entire state, the Tasmanian devil may not be able to recover and could be extinct in the wild within only 25 years. I decided it was time I went out to find out a little bit more about this disease and the research being done to find a cure. So I set out to Safe Base Bravo, a military base in Buckland, Tasmania, which is also one of the many devil research sites. There I met up with scientific officer and wildlife biologist Jason Wurzner and volunteers from the USA, Steve Prava and Sonia Hartman. Jason has been working with the Devil Disease Program for the past three and a half years and has had some memorable moments with these creatures, but has also witnessed firsthand the devastating and heartbreaking effects of the disease. Today Jason is sharing with us exactly what happens at a Devil Trapping Research Site. We come across our first closed trap, which indicates there could either be a devil or a spotted talc wall inside. Immediately it is action stations all around as equipment is prepared and protective clothing is put on to make the process as sterile as possible. Okay, so what you're getting ready prepared, you're getting yeah. your uh, protective gear on? Yes, yes. To protect you? Well, or yeah, from it's... what? Basically we're trying to maximise is that we keep everything as clean as possible between sites. We don't want any cross-contamination. Not knowing how the disease fully works, we've really got to get to this stage where we leave a site as clean as what we got to it in the first place. Okay. So, aprons, masks, we don't want to pick anything up, Gla glasses and protective gloves. So basically, I mean, these animals, we want to pick one up, put it into a sack, have a look at it, and then everything that touches that animal then goes, it gets basically uh, burnt, um, so there's yep. nothing left okay. behind. Uh, we've got to do that at every site, make sure we do it very, very thoroughly. So, Sonia, what are we. Can you talk us through what you're. I'm the clean you're person today. <laughs> I don't have to wear a blue suit, and I'm just keeping track of the trapped history and. Um, he'll be scanning it first off, looking for a chip. And if the animal's got a little chip in it already, I'll be documenting the number. And then I'll be checking it with a, a form back here to see if it's a recapture from this trip or from some other trip. Yes, excellent. A recapture here, and the number is 982 Correct, yep. That would be 6030. Check it on the recaptures. And six zero three zero. Hmm. Six zero three zero. Zero three zero. Yeah, she may not be a. Do you see it? Uh, a new one hmm. for the trip. That's interesting. She's in. Seeing it. Okay, so we've caught her before on another trip, but not this trip. Okay. So we'll have to take new measurements again because they're growing right through their life. So yep. we'll bag her and uh, get yep. some information from her.
Can you tell straight away if it was a disease? No, I can't. Sometimes you'll see it quite visually. Yeah. But other animals might have it under the tongue or just beginning in the mouth. They look pretty uh, docile. They look pretty uh, happy. Or... Yeah, they're usually like this though. They're usually very, very quiet. There you go, Bubba. That's it, matey. Okay. So we'll need the other data sheets too, just to check to see if the sure. biopsy's been done. So it's a 6.4 kilos. 6.4. Oh, right there. Biopsy was taken. Okay. Five and a BFPT of one. So it's previously not had the disease. So this will be interesting. Was that caught in September or January? September. September this year. Excellent. So you hear the scrubbing going on with the, uh, the trap. Yeah, we try and separate ourselves so we're in the front of the car. And he's at the back, so the noise isn't annoying the animal too much. We'll just cover its eyes, so it's not unhappy. So what you're looking for, you're feeling for lumps or bumps? Yeah. They often get it around the lymph nodes around the side here, so what I'm trying to do first of all, I've got a bunch of measurements I also have to take, but around the chest, they get a lot of bite wounds around here from other devils, particularly if they're males. Uh, yeah, so what I'm trying to do is just get anything that might be leading to a lump or a bump that I can check, that I can yeah. put down for next time. Because last time we, we caught an animal the other day with a little bite mark and uh, uh, we checked it the other day and it was extensive DFTD, so it was within a few months. Yeah. And we're going to get rain because it's, uh, cause that's Murphy's Law. Mm -hmm. So, um... And if they have been diseased, do you, do they go straight away? Do you euthanise them straight away? We don't euthanise these animals are at uh, research sites. I'll just read this off first. 16. Point Four for the canine to gum length. Mm. And same for dentine and animal junction. So this animal is a 2005 individual. So I'm just aging it from its teeth. I've got this dentine and animal junction which is, uh, you can just see it slightly here. This little uh, you can see a little ridge coming up. Well, as they get older, when they move away from one, it'll be higher and uh, a bit further down the tooth. And their tooth continually um, has that dentine enamel junction moving down because it's growing. So that's how we can get an, uh, an idea of the age, aside from other things also like wear and tear, and, and they might have a few scars here and there as well. Yeah, just... With their teeth, they keep growing, don't they? Yeah, that's right, yep. And...